bit of a weak and feeble woman. But I have the heart and stomach of a king. And of a king of England, too. I watched Helen as she was creating the role of Elizabeth I. And one of, I thought, the great strengths of her performance is that she played a woman. Uh, a woman, indeed, with power, with influence, but nevertheless a woman with all her emotions and her muddledness. Just kiss me, Beth. She gives all her work a great erotic, intelligent, nothing extraneous, visceral quality. Good night, my lord. And she has that ability of being able to turn on a sixpence from the stately to the assaulted and hugely injured woman. I never wish to see your face again. My heart still runs on you, I swear it. Be off before I hang you, I'm minded to hang you now, with my own hands too. Yes. Get out of my sight! I love these tantrums that she had, because of course the queen could have tantrums. Who was going to stop her? And I saw that and I went, wow, isn't that fantastic? Because she had the great strength, she had the vulnerability as a woman, and then she had this kind of childlike explosion of anger when she couldn't get her way. That I thought was extraordinary. And, you know, that's very different than my wife. She doesn't have those tantrums. <laughs> Thank God. I certainly gave it everything that I had, everything that I had. And a four-hour piece about Elizabeth I, you know, you know that's going to be an incredible role to play. And if you're not up for it, shame on you. You know, you've got to step up there, no matter how tired you are, how much pain you're in, whatever's going on. You know, those are the great roles. And if you're lucky, they come along once in a lifetime, maybe.